that being said, why not? Why would we waste any more time? We have the one, the only, Jose Barajas from Long Beach, California. Good evening. Which I'm excited to hear what you have, sir. It has been a while since I have heard you on this platform myself. Yeah, it's and been I'm, over a year, I think. <laughs> over a year. It has been, hasn't it? Yes. Because it, it's little... been pretty much a year since I came on to Red's Room. So you must have been one of the, one of the af couple after that I heard, maybe, for yeah. the first time. So I'm so excited to hear you play tonight. Uh, you are self-taught like I am in guitar, which is so cool. How long did it take you to learn uh, how to play? Been playing about 29 years and still don't know a lot. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Sometimes the best worship worship songs are just four chords, and that's all we need. Okay. Um, and that that's all right. That's all right. It's all bringing uh, worship to the and glory to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Lord. Praise that's Lord. amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so I just read not too long ago that your favorite life verses are Romans five eight and Psalm one hundred. Yes. Why is that? Tell me, tell me why that is. Why do you love those verses as much as you do? I mean, if you read Romans 5, 8, uh, to me, it's, you know, just as powerful as uh, John three sixteen. you know, it says, mm -hmm. for God demonstrates his own love towards us that yet while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. I mean, if that doesn't speak volumes to people, then they are just blinded and not wanting the love of God that he demonstrates his, his love while we were still sinners, you know, not, you know, anything else, but because we're broken and we need a savior. And then Psalm 100 is just a song of praise. And I'm actually doing one of the songs. It's actually written from Psalm 100 tonight. So uh, you'll see why it's just a beautiful song of, of God. So I'm so excited to hear that. Absolutely. And you have a wonderful family and the Lord has just immensely blessed you um, with seven grandkids, right? seven grandkids seven grandkids <laughs> kids. that's amazing so they yeah. must keep you really on your toes yeah we were involved with softball or everything that they do so it's yeah it's a fun it's nice to be a young grandpa <laughs> good <laughs> good well i'm excited to hear psalm 100 and whatever else you have for us today um take it away all right, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to do a bunch of originals. Uh, this is, you know, part of Ecclesiastics and some Isaiah in there. So it's just all plagiarizing from God's word. And I hope you guys are blessed. Uh, this is called Never Let Me Go.
It's awesome to know that God loves us so much. He takes our crimson stained hearts, lives. No matter what you've done out there, come to Jesus. He can make you white as snow. He can pick you up out of whatever despair you think you're in. He's that good of a God. Absolutely. That is so true. This is uh, Psalm 100. It's uh, Basically, if you read Psalm 100, you'll know. And then I, the bridge is uh, the first two verses of Psalm 101. So this is called He is God.
So we are the people of his pasture. I love that one. I love that one. I think it really, you know, when we when we talk about God's worthiness and what he truly has done for us, when we get the gravity as to what he did for us, especially as we're like approaching Easter, mm -hmm. we, we, we will never truly know the gravity of what was on God's heart to be able to just completely unleash absolutely everything, all of his wrath onto one person because he, he, he just, waited for, for Jesus. He, he waited for that. He waited for that. There was a redemptive plan behind it all. And I think when we, you know, there's a worthiness that we forget to honor him with. And I think that song just kind of shifted some some heads up oh praise the lord yeah i've been blessed by god to just be able to write stuff and like i said i'm not a professional but i'm anointed because i, I always tell everybody that i love the verse in acts uh four where it says that the um the sadducees and the pharisees they they saw that peter and john were just ordinary men but that they had perceived that they had been with jesus and that I mean, it just speaks volumes. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be crying, because if you start crying, then I'm going to start crying. That's, that's how and it it's, it's, it, we're just all going to be blubbering messes. And it's okay. It's, it's you got to. I mean, we might as well just get it all the way here, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Everybody this else, dry their like, tears, grab the tissues, because <laughs> this is going to, I have a feeling this is oh. not, this is going to be one of those nights. See, look at that. Oh. Yeah, it's, I can't uh, look at you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's okay. That's just how deep and wide God's love is. And, you know, I just pray that people out there listening to everybody that plays the night and just the message that they understand that God's love is so deep and wide and there's nowhere like I've been saying, there's nowhere you've been, there's nothing you've done that you cannot come back to Jesus and say, please forgive me, and that he won't pick you up and make you clean and he'll dust you off and he'll hold you in his loving arms. And it's just awesome to, to know and see, so. And the fact that like, that is the, the purest form of redemption that any of us can be seeking and it's free. Yeah, yeah. Like, I That's always say part. that the gospel is like the craziest thing that you will ever tell someone. And, you know, I had the opportunity to go to Thailand and preach the gospel over there um, to a completely unreached nation, a completely unreached people group, 80% Buddhist, yeah. according to the Joshua product project. And to be speaking something of such gravity to people where they're like, this doesn't even seem real it it's it is though like it's real but it doesn't a lot of the times the gravity doesn't hit us until we are on our knees in front of the lord with that redemption and he goes guess what it's free because i did it exactly he paid it all yeah this next song is called you are jesus
are my friend. You are Jesus. Mm. Got time for one more. I was going to say, I think you should probably do one more because at this point, I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like just sitting there listening to the lyrics and you're like, yeah, wait, no. Yep. There's, there's the gravity. Yep. There's the gravity because it's, it's here. It's here and it's in this space. It's in this room. And I'm, and I'm glad that we, I, I think we should all be looking at this night regardless of the circumstance that we are in in a place of gladness and that's where worship brings us to is a place of gladness exactly gladness for the gravity that God, it's so good that it's a uh, song um i wrote it uh, just recently um basically i plagiarized it again sorry god I'm taking all your words it's this song 51 um and obviously if you know God or if you don't know God basically Psalm 51 is David coming to God after he was confronted of his adultery and I think that that speaks volumes because technically any sin that we do is adultery towards God because he, you know the first commandments are do not have any other gods before me do not create idols because he's a jealous God, because he loves us so much. He loves us so much that he died for us. And all you got to do is bow your heart and just come to him. Humble yourself, knowing that this world is tough enough on our own. But with Jesus, he gives us peace and rest for our souls. He doesn't say you're going to be happy all the time and everything's going to be hunky-dory and you're going to win the lotto tomorrow. But he gives us rest our souls. Think about that. When you're tired and you're weary and you're broken, we need rest for our souls. Have mercy on me, oh God, according to your steadfast love. Watch
absolutely amazing absolutely incredible i know i was thinking along by like the second verse and then you're hit with this oh my gosh i will never we will never ever 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 be good enough without god we will never be good enough without god we have to be humble in order to say lord i need you And that's all he wants. All he wants is relationship. And I just want to say, you know, to anybody who's watching, you know, if you don't have Jesus and you are just tired of striving and tired of perfection and tired of the gravity, tired of this weight that is holding you down to the point where you just want to be sick and tired of, of you're, you're sick and tired, but you got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You got to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's when you're at the end of the rope is when God is going to come up and rescue you and hold out his hands willingly. Like he did on that cross. Because yeah. those scars are what has saved generations upon generations and he will do it again continually because his grace is the same his word is the same his word is that will never come back null or void or anything it's just grace it is a matter of grace and we have to say you know what i don't have a clean spirit right now i don't have a clean spirit i might have a relationship with god but i don't have a clean spirit and there is so much to unpack with the lord when you are able to say I don't like that thought that I had earlier. I'm in this little trap right here and I really need to get out because right when the enemy realizes that you've got a weakness, he will just continue to wedge between you and your relationship with God and pull you away from the pack and pull you away into into more of your weakness until he is able to kill and destroy you. The... Um, we have to say, you know, create in me a heart, God. Create in me a new heart every day. Every day. Every day. I'll end with uh, Proverbs 1. It says, uh, how long, O simple ones, will you love being simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you. That's what he's saying. Stop being foolish. Stop seeking self-knowledge, self-things. Turn to him and he will pour his spirit upon us. Create in us a clean heart, O God. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, Jose. And where can we find um, more of your music or where can we kind of keep up with you and your seven grandkids? and? <laughs> And your I'll family post, uh, and I'll post links to uh, my YouTube where I have my songs and then I'll also post uh, a link to my blog. I write a daily blog, uh, just encouraging people to come to know God and I use life examples and then put the word to it and I'll put put all that out there for people to be blessed. So thank you guys for everything. Red, thank you again for thank having you. me. It's been a blessing and 
just realized how much I missed it. So thank you. Well, definitely come back and yes. don't wait a year because yes. we love having you, Jose. Thank you so much. We, we love having you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Good night, guys. Thank you so much.